finally tonight, a conference in Germany is honoring the life and legacy of Pope Benedict the 16th. EWTN journalist Rudolf Gehrig has more. A year and a half has passed since the death of Pope Benedict the 16th. This week, theologians are meeting in the Bavarian town of Altötting, where Germany's most important Marian shrine is located, not far from Josef Ratzinger's birthplace, to discuss his enduring legacy. I know him very well because he was a very, very kind person. He was a person with a very deep face and he was a very intellig intelligent uh, theologian. And these three characteristics in one person is characteristic for uh, Pope Benedict. He always prayed, celebrated Mass every day, prayed the breviary. And so we wanted to reflect that also during the Congress, that there are times of prayer and times of discussion and times of conferences. Both the organizers and the participants of the Benedict Forum are convinced that Benedict XVI still has a lot to teach us today. I think his legacy is a deep theology that shows us that reason and faith are not opposed to each other and that our intellect, our our brain, our head, our heart, our soul, that they all belong together and that we should search for the Lord and that we should um, search for Jesus in all of this. Even though Benedict XVI spent the last years of his life in seclusion as Pope Emeritus, people have not forgotten him. In Altötting, Rudolf Gehrig, EWTN News Nightly.